Hey Zwifters, welcome to No Breakaways, your source for all the Zwift racing tips and tricks. This week we're back with another episode from A to Zwift where we teach you about one specific skill to make you a better Zwift racer. This week we're going to talk about super tucking and coasting, two of my absolute favorite topics because I consider myself a master at not pedaling the bike. First we're going to go over super tucking, we're going to get some tips from a pro on how to do it right, then we're going to go over coasting a little bit. If you take this advice to heart, you too can become a master at not pedaling your bike. Let's see what we got. All right, let's talk about how to super tuck. Number one, you have to be going faster than 58 kilometers an hour or 36 miles an hour. You have to be on a 3% or more decline and no pedaling. Technically, it's like under 11 watts, but let's get real. Nobody's going to pedal under 11 watts. Special thanks to my friend Eric over at Zwift Insider for all this information. There's a link down in the notes below if you want to check out the article. All right, everybody, here's a picture of me going down the backside of the leg snapper on in Innsbruck. As you can see up in the top right hand, I am on a negative 10% decline. However, I'm not going 40 over 48 kilometers an hour, and you can see my avatar sitting up. Here's another picture a little bit further down the leg snapper hill. Me and my Zwift drafting icon, Greg O'Malley, are super tucking. Up in the top right hand corner, you can see it's negative 7% grade and we're going over 58 kilometers an hour. You can tell you're super tucking when your avatar is up and over the handles and you can see your entire seat. All right, here's Greg and I coming over the top of that hill that I showed you in the screenshots. You gotta keep your watts up for a little bit, but you see the road starting to tip down. Any second now, you're gonna see my watts start coming down and I'm gonna pop into a super tuck. There I go. So you can see, you can see my seat, you can see up over the bars. One important thing in game to note is that super tucking in a race is faster than when you keep pedaling because of the aerodynamic advantage. So not only are you saving energy, but you're going faster. Perfect for Zwift racing. Here's another clip from one of the big Cat A races in game. Aiden Sinclair in the Canyon kit, highlighted here, actually gets a little bit of a super tuck on this volcano downhill, which is something I didn't even know you can do. This is a really good example for all of us of how the very top Cat A racers use everything they can to get an advantage and save some of those matches for the end of the race. The other day I was recording a race breakdown with pro Joel Carroll from the Finesse Wahoo team and Brandon Peterson. Joel gave us some amazing advice on super tucking, so I cut it straight out of there and I'm putting it in here for all of us to learn a little bit more about super tucking. Um, so if your peloton isn't big enough and your pace isn't high enough, sometimes you can't quite get to that speed. But what you can do is if you kick it a little bit, then get your avatar just to that threshold, which I believe is 58 kilometers per hour, and then stop pedaling, uh, you will aero tuck and you'll kind of stay in the peloton and you might float to the front, but, and, and that will decrease your speed. But what I found is Zwift doesn't actually kick you out of the aero tuck for a decrease in speed. It only kicks you out of the aero tuck when the uh, decline is, goes, you know, greater than minus three. So like minus two or whatever. That's when it kicks you out of the aero tuck. Awesome advice by Joel. I didn't know any of that. So today, on my race around the Innsbruck ring, I decided to try it out, see if he was right. Let's check it out. Here we are, coming down that same Innsbruck hill. You can see I have to pedal a little bit to keep up with the group, but I'm going to hop right back in the super tuck. Keep an eye on that top right hand corner, that gradient. You're gonna see it go under 3% and my guy will stay in a super tuck. This is a great way for you to save maybe one more match so that you can win this sprint at the end. Next thing I wanted to talk about is coasting, something you don't hear much about on Zwift. I was watching Nathan Guerra's live stream the other day and I saw him riding in a pack on flat ground and he just stopped pedaling and stayed with the group. I thought, being a lazy person, that's something that I wanted to try. This clip we're on the downhill going into Ocean Boulevard in the middle of a race. I decided to totally let off the power and see if I can just coast with this group and for how long. Now, I will warn you, it is pretty easy to get spit out of the back of the group doing this, and I have had that happen to me where I just totally lose contact with the race. But in this case, I do get a little bit of a rest. I have to put in a little bit of a dig to catch back up to the group, but I was fine after this. It's one of those things where you have to make sure that you're looking at the pace of the group and the speed of the group and what your capabilities are to see if you can do this. But again, another way to save some matches for the end of that race. Another great place to coast is going down this hill to get in the underwater tunnel. You can see that I let totally off the gas while I'm in this pack. It's a good idea to be more at the front of the pack when you do this so you can drift back through. And I would also suggest 
starting to pick your power up before you get spit out the back. That's a mistake I've made and it's really no fun. That's today's show on super ducking and coasting. Special thanks to Eric, Nathan, and Joel for all their amazing tips and tricks. If you liked the video, please click like and subscribe below. And remember that we're here to make you a better Zwift racer, so let me know in the comments what you want to see next. We have some awesome content coming out soon, so please stay tuned. See you next time.